Hello everybody, my name is Deli Wesilepe. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we will learn how to do the bridge, which means working our core muscles, shoulder and arm strength, you know, so we can get our bodies to bend into a bridge, which I'm so excited about. So without wasting any time, let's start by stretching. So I need you to pull your, your right ear away from your right shoulder using your left hand and then stretch your right hand away from you. So this position needs you to lengthen your back and engage your core while breathing. I know it's hard, <laughs> but yeah. So I'm gonna need you to do this again on the other side. Pull your left ear away from your left shoulder using your right hand. <laughs> it is a bit confusing, but yeah, when you do it, it's quite easy, it makes sense and then stretch your left hand away from you. So always, always um, engage with your breath when you do this and keep your core engaged. So now I'm gonna need you to please draw a big circle with your head around your neck and then draw side circles with your shoulders too. So you're going to draw like a clockwise circle and anti-clockwise circle with your shoulders. So you can literally stretch as long as you want. So any of the stretches you've done so far, you can take your time with them and do as much as you want. Okay. So now I'm going to need you to get on all fours. You want your thighs to be in a vertical line here, you know, as I'm pointing. So yeah, so you're going to get ready to get into a puppy pose. And it's very natural to get into a puppy pose from this position, from the tabletop position. So you're just going to push your bum up <laughs> and then push yourself forward to lie on onto your tummy, preparing your hands to push up and bend your back as far as you can without hurting yourself, of course. So take a few deep breaths here, but you're basically preparing yourself to, you know, take in more oxygen, of course, you're taking in more oxygen, but also arm strength because you're going to need some of that. And of course, that shape, we need that shape, you know, for you to bend backwards, literally bend over backwards <laughs> when you do the bridge. So you're going to do the same thing again. But in this case, you're going to do a child pose. And then you're going to go back to that lying down with your tummy position. But this time I'm going to need you to lift your feet a little bit off the ground and then push up with your hands again to bend your back. So this time around you can like literally twist your shoulders to face to the right and to the left you know just for a little bit of a deeper stretch hold this position for as long as you want as long as you can you know it's a nice nice deep stretch so it's going to help you a lot when you're going to get into your your bridge so after this you can go ahead and do a uh, a child pose which will give you a nice juicy stretch to your spine core and spine of course always keep your core engaged please like it's so important try to do this as often as you want okay cool so now we'll get into a camel pose where you will get up on your knees right then yeah it's going to be a bit of a tricky one um it was for me anyways, maybe not for you, hopefully not for you. But when I started, it was very tricky for me. So you get up on your knees and then you push your tummy forward and your heart up while your hands touch the ground behind your feet. So, I mean, after this, you're going to sit back down, but for now, keep it, hold the position. And then, of course, sit back, sit back down with your bum and then push forward again. Again, you're opening yourself up to taking more oxygen here. How's your, how's your breathing, by the way? Make sure your breathing is still controlled by you. So you can do this as many times as you like. But now we're going to add a little bit of aromat. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when a, an instructor says that to you? That means they're going to make it a little more difficult. <laughs> So, I mean, it's not so bad. You're basically tucking your, your feet in 
to lift your heels and then you're gonna go in again this is a much deeper stretch so lift like again push your stomach forward your heart up and just throw your head back don't control your head let it fall but really your shoulders here are doing the work okay cool so now you're gonna sit down on your bum one of the easiest thing and the nicest things i like to do so you're going to basically bring your knees up and hug yourself and then um control your body your upper body all the way down to lie down on your back okay while your knees are still up you can even have them straight there's no issues we really just want to exercising we really just want to exercise our, body, our arms so basically exercise your arms and pretend as if you're about to push down with your hands you know so you want all the muscles to be exercised because you really don't want to um you don't want to overstretch anything so you start by stretching small stretches and then you know you keep going while you're breathing as well breath is so important okay so then you're going to push up while engaging your core it's very important to engage your core here and just push up lift your bum up and yeah as if you're going i was gonna say as if you're going to get into a bridge until you actually do <laughs> if you for any reason can't get into the bridge anymore i mean sorry at, um yet i would suggest you leave you you stop where you can you know if the previous um exercise is where you could stop then do that and hold the shape but don't push your body as far as it doesn't want to go but you will eventually get to this position just keep repeating the exercise the whole exercise over and over cool now that we're done i would like to say to you thank you so much for joining me thank you for you know pressing or pushing start on my video <laughs> on my face so i hope you have a nice day namaste